Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I was going to teach you how to make these cute little wooden pumpkins. Um, I'm getting ready for a craft fair in about a week and a half and I'm going to be selling these. And um, how I came up with them is that we had some wood left over. My son had made us a, a gate a few years back and I had two by fours and then this was a piece off of an antique table that we had that I just um, chopped up into pieces to make a stem and then I did buy some Dollar Tree rope to make the the stem or the little leaves or whatever that decor is and then I used some paint that I already had to make this orange and I'll show you that. Um, sanded the wood down, well cut the pieces, sanded the wood down, painted, um, and then I used a sharpie to make the faces. So I'm going to show you everything I used and how I made them. Here is everything you will need. So I have a piece of wood here for the pumpkin. Um, I have two colored paints because this I felt was too yellow and this I felt was too bright of an orange. So I put the yellow on the bottom and the orange on top. I'll show you. Um, but I didn't want to spend money on it. And then I used two different paint brushes. It doesn't matter really what size, just to paint the wood. Um, and then I have this little piece of wood. Like I said, I got it um, just from an antique table that was falling apart. Um, it was the lever that you pull out for the leaves of the table. And I just cut it up to make the little stem to go on top. Um, I have the sandpaper, oh, the sandpaper block and some sandpaper. Um, depends on which one I use for what. And then I have three different kinds of rope. Um, this twine I had already. Um, and this is macrame rope that I had from another project. I make my own um, macrame plant hangers. Um, and then also this rope I bought at the Dollar Tree for a dollar um, recently. Um, and then my trusty trusty old glue gun. This is actually my sister's that I borrowed from her because mine broke. In case she sees this, thank you, Karen. And then um, scissors and Sharpie. And that's it. And really, you can use whatever you have around your house. These are just what I use. Start out for with my yellow paint. And I really, it's, it's almost empty. So I just squeeze it out on the top here and go in for a scoop of it. Um, there we go. I'm gonna paint the whole block. You see my arm jumping around it's because my dear dog Otis is scratching to get in my lap whenever I sit at the table um, usually it is to play cards and he sits in my lap so he is confused so, so as you can see this is not quite a pumpkin color so um, it kind of looks more pumpkin-y up here, but by the time you put it on the wood, it's more of a yellowy, not quite what you're looking for, for a pumpkin. Or at least not what I'm looking for. the 
top. And I'm not looking for perfection, especially with the yellow, um, because I'm gonna go on top of it with orange. So. This yellow has gotten me through two different projects this fall <clears throat> for this craft fair. I'll be showing you another project in another video coming soon. Um, another fall craft project that I'm hoping to sell at the craft fair as well. That is in, kind of goes with the the pumpkin theme as well. All right, so we have that all painted. It needs to dry, and of course I have it all over my fingers. So I'm gonna go wash my hands and this paintbrush and let this all dry. There's a few wet spots, but it really doesn't doesn't matter. It's pretty much just this is pretty a, a rough and easy project. So I'm gonna go in with my bright orange. And if you have a pumpkiny orange or one better than this paint, um. I would just suggest you go in, you just have to go in with one or two coats of your own paint. Um, no need to, to use um, two different colors. I just didn't want to spend any money on this project, like I said earlier. So I um, am using what I have, and these are just I believe I got these paints a couple years ago at Walmart for 99 cents each. Um, so yeah. So just going in and not being perfect again because I'm gonna be sanding this in the end to give it a rough look. So I'm not, some of it will even be down to the wood um, color, so. You definitely don't have to be perfect. I wanted to give the tutorial by teaching Libby how to do this, but that didn't happen this evening. Yeah. <laughs> she said no. <laughs> I didn't know that was your <laughs> So. I wasn't asked directly like that. <laughs> so, all righty. So now we are going to let this one dry. Hi everybody. So I just filmed finishing this little guy without filming it. I thought the camera was on and it wasn't. So what I thought I was filming was I glued on the piece of wood for the stem with the glue gun and then I cut pieces of twine, three pieces of twine and tied them around, made a bow, um, decided to use twine because I've used rope in a lot of other ones here. Um, so I wanted to use twine instead, just to have a little variety for the craft fair. And then I drew on his little face. Um, and I don't get very 
um, original with the face. All, all of my faces are pretty much the same. The mouths are a little different just because um, the way they're set up. But that is it. Um, a cute little Halloween pumpkin, or if you turn it around, you can just have a little rustic wooden um, pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. So little wooden pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. So let me know what you think below in the comments and give me a thumbs up. If you like this, um, the next tutorial will be teaching you how to make a wooden scarecrow. So look forward to seeing you soon and please do comment and let me know what you think. Okay, so y'all, I was over in the living room listening to all that. Please, please, please don't be judgy. I, I found her very entertaining. And when I suggested maybe she could do a video of bloopers, Sue got a little bit irritated with me and said she couldn't bloop what she hadn't taped. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they be judgy? I didn't take So anyway, you... <laughs> thank thank you for listening and please give her give her some grace. She hasn't been doing this very long at all. <laughs> and she needs as much encouragement as you have to give. And less of me. <laughs> thank you. Hey everybody, Bye. as I sit here editing, I realize that when I came back on and had missed a portion or I wasn't videotaping that I had forgot to say that I had also sanded what I had painted. Um, I had sanded it down with sandpaper, um, especially on the edges to get that effect. So sorry about that. I um, promised the scarecrow tutorial will be a lot smoother. Here are the pumpkins that we've made for the craft fair and I'll be selling them for probably five dollars a piece and they're all made from um, wood that I already had and um, all that rope was one dollar and I already had the glue sticks and the sharpie and the paint so really just one dollar was spent um, yeah, so hopefully I'll make some money. I'll let you know.